What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this uh, cold Tuesday night. I'm doing really good myself. Uh, today, me and my wife has been out there battling snow, shoveling snow. And uh, the snow was so much, we got like seven to eight inches, you know, and uh, basically it's stuck, you know, my car in the driveway, you know car is stuck so I'm still you know working on getting that you know taken care of but other than that everything is cool other than coming across this story right here and um, it's a very sad story and it's a story that makes you angry and I know a lot of us don't care to the point of listening or you know even seeing these particular stories but the thing is is this we must you know uh Look at these stories. We must, you know, uh, not turn away from these stories because ignoring these stories is not going to make situations like this stop happening. And so, therefore, we must continue, you know, to report these stories, you know, and uh, stand up against the kind of activity that these stories are talking about, you know. That's just the way I look at it. It's not going to go away. These stories would probably encourage us in some ways or another one day to start fighting back. You know. Um, it says here, a pregnant black girl lynched by an NC Trump loving couple. And uh, I don't have to tell you who the, the beautiful black sister, you know, which one that is and the two that is res allegedly responsible for doing this heinous crime, all right? But I can tell you this, from what I understand about this story right here, they let these two low-life, good-for-nothing waste of all the genetic markings <laughs> that they're made up of run around for I don't know how long before they pick them up. From what I hear... Uh, the family of this young sister right here had got wise to him and started investigating because the police wasn't really doing their job all that well. You know, and once the family started to investigate, you know, um, these two lowlifes right here, um, that's when, you know, and they were showing evidence to the police. That's when the, the uh, police wanted to go ahead and uh, apprehend these two. And I got a good notion that I know why. Because a lot of times when you get these racist motherfuckers who do shit like this, the police get them off of the street to protect them and save their lives. You understand? And then that's when they want to run them through the system. Because they don't want what is called vigilante activity. You know, true street justice, which is what these two low lowlifes right here deserve. Okay? The Most High speaks of this. We are not living according to his laws. In three different books in the Bible, it clearly states, you know, this. In Genesis 9-6, whoever sheds the blood of man by Man shall his blood be shed, for God made man in his own image. Leviticus chapter 24, verse 17. Whoever takes a human life shall surely be put to death. Exodus 20, 13. You should not murder. Okay? Exodus 21, 12. Whoever strikes a man so that he dies shall be put to death. You see, so it is righteous to put to death a murderer. You see, but in this wicked paradigm and time of this kingdom here, they are contrary to doing things as the way the most high would have them do, would have us do. So therefore, they let um, lowlifes like this run amok because basically 
whenever one of these right here see these two that took this young sister's life. Other low lives, racist, getting away with things that they have no business doing to somebody black. It encourages them, it encourages them to do the same thing. That's what they want. But to disencourage them from doing, you know, the same thing would be to make an example out of the wicked, evil, low life piece of shit who did something wrong, um, you know, to 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 uh, somebody else in the first place. This is not a godly system, but the most high will change that eventually. Now, to get into the story. You know, it says here, a beautiful 28-year-old North Carolina woman was brutally murdered and her body was found stuffed in a suitcase last Monday. Now, MTO News has learned that police have charged a white couple with the murder of a missing pregnant mother of two. And according to social media reports, the murder may have been racially motivated. Brittany Simone Smith, 28, was reported missing on February 5th. She was last seen alive on February 4th, according to the sheriff's office. Her body was found stuffed inside a suitcase near New East River in Rolay, according to the sheriff's office. Okay. Um, and while police are refusing to disclose a motive for the murder, social media sleuths suspects that it may have been a racial lynching. You see, this is what I'm talking about, man. There has got to be examples made on these racist low life pieces. Red, oh man. Examples have to be made against these pig skin motherfuckers. That's just all there is to it. That's just the way I feel about it. You know, um, in conclusion here, it says uh, authorities have arrested Thomas Clay Johnson, 37, and Emily Grace Trevithan, uh, 24, and charged the two with murder, murder of an unborn child, and concealment of a body. Social media reports claimed that the couple, I guess they mean the, but it says he, but the couple who were ardent Trump supporters had some alleged racist rhetoric on their social media pages. And that has led them to suspect nefarious racist motives for the murder. All right. And it's these two pieces of shit right here. You see. Oh, how would I love to get my hand on these motherfuckers if I knew for a fact that they are the ones responsible for the death of that young sister because the Most High declares it that we are to put to death murders. You know, um, the system is supposed to put to death murders. You know, it would take, I just read those scriptures. You know what I'm saying? The lives of an innocent person going about their merry way. Because I can assure you, these two, they do not want the same measure dealt back onto them that they dealt to this young lady right here. I can assure you of that. They don't. But nevertheless, they will get theirs. It just ain't not getting it fast enough, you know. They but they will get theirs, you know. But uh, here's the deal: we as a people must walk vigilant. That means to be on guard for any low life. I don't give a damn what color he is. Basically, black, white, red, yellow, or green, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We got to be on guard for evil doers. Because as we know, we have black folks among us do shit, you know, do wrong things to, you know, uh, their own people. And as far as I'm concerned, they're, they're treasonistic. And you know how what's supposed to happen to a person that commits treason as well. But I'm saying in this case right here. Racism. Racism is nothing but envy. And envy is nothing but hate. Basically. We must stand vigilant for this kind of stuff. Fight against it with all we got. Arm ourselves and not be afraid to protect ourselves. When faced 
with low lifes like this. That's all I got on this one, y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this story. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, your views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.